What's going on, guys? This is my response for New York Giants, New York Mets PC cards. Uh, he showed some cards the other day talking about value, and I like doing videos like that. I like getting involved in conversations like that. So here's my little take on the whole thing. Value of a card to me is whatever I'm willing to pay for it. I don't go too much by Beckett no more. I don't go too much by... You know, I mean, you kind of have to go by something to give it. So, I mean, I, I pay attention to eBay and COMC and stuff like that. But basically, it's whatever I'm willing to pay for it. I don't chase high-end stuff. I don't bust a lot of wax anymore. I mostly go after singles and stuff. So, anyway, I'll show you a few cards that probably means a little bit more to me than they would to anybody else for various reasons. This is a Chris Carter. This is the very first hit jersey whatever you want to call it that i ever pulled out of a box at the time it was pretty cool he was still playing but you know went on future hall of famer nice little jersey from upper deck i believe that's around 2001 2002 i need my glasses yeah 2002 chris carter so that's probably i mean it might be worth something to a viking fan or not but you know value wise money wise i don't know but i'll always hang on to it because it's the very first hit that i ever pulled and then i'll show you this one this one is from 2003 this is the very first chicago bears hit that i ever pulled cordell stewart man i was so excited that year they brought him in but freaking jerron and that lack ass coordinator he had snoop that offensive coordinator i don't they, it was just a mess they had talent and it was proven a few years later when Lovey Smith got there and took him to the Super Bowl. But this is my very first Bears hit, Cordell Stewart. I think he was only there for a season or whatever, but I'll always keep that. It'll always have a spot. And these next two, I'll show you. The Brock Forsey is from 2003, and the Anthony Thomas is from 2001. And you'll notice it's in a one-touch. These are the first two. I bought these at the same time, but these were... Believe it or not, in all the years I've been doing this, I have never pulled a Bears autograph. So these are the first two Bears autographs that I bought for my collection. Anthony Thomas was hot at the time, you know, and you see right there, it's in a mag, it's in a one touch, but it's probably, I mean, you could probably pick this card up for, I'd say, less than five bucks. And I know you could this one too. This one's from 2000, what I say, three, Bowman. He was just kind of a like a one-year thing he wasn't nothing real special but he had a few good games that year i mean he rushed for like 140 yards against arizona one time and he just you know he didn't stick with the team but this just goes to pr prove you know this is back in 2003 guys they were still putting a lot of kind of i don't want to say no names but maybe lesser known guys in projects or in uh boxes you know what I mean? When you buy a box of something and you pull a really kick-ass auto and it's an undrafted guy from, you know, Clock Repair University, you know. <laughs> but they were doing that back then, too. But this card will always have a spot in my PC because I've seen him playing a couple live games. And it was the first, you know, one of the first Bears autos that I ever bought. And this next one in a one-touch. You guys probably recognize this right off the bat. This is from... God, I hope my... Is that's gonna focus good? It's like I just lost light or something. Anyway, uh, 2004 Don Russ Classics, uh, Dick Buckus. When I got out of collecting in 2002, this was one of the last cards that I purchased off eBay, and this was the very first card that I had purchased out of any of the Don Russ Classic sets. I had pulled a few base cards, but really didn't have anything. You know, and then flash forward 10 years later, I get my collection back out. And for whatever reason, I pull this card out, and I just decide going to go after them. Again, that's a one-touch card. I, You know, I may have paid five or six bucks for it, you know. But I keep it in one-touch because it got me going basically on this right here. This whole row right here on your left there, this is all Don Ruff Classics. And this is all stuff I've bought within the past six, eight months, however long I've been back into collecting. It's a lot of base, and I just really like those. Here's another one. You know, I like this Anthony Thomas dress code. 
little orange piece there in the jersey. I paid less than five bucks for this card. It's in a one touch because I like the way it looks. It's my team, all that good stuff, you know. I don't I don't spend a lot of money on one touches either, really. I, I swap them out. When I ain't got nothing going on, I'll uh you know, I'll take cards out of this, these one touches and put other cards in if I'm working on something else. But I do go after a lot of base. You guys have seen this before. Here's my little uh, what I'm working on here is I'm trying to get every Topps base team set that was put out for the Bears. Starting right here. Now in the 50s and 60s, this is a, this is a 55 Bowman. I paid 10 bucks for this card at, an, at my LCS. Um, but there's some Bowman, there's some Flair in here because they, you know, they were flip flopping between the NFL and AFL in the 60s. And the, I got all the 80s. I have showed you that here. You know, a couple. McMahon rookie, Singletary rookie, Dent rookie, all in one touch is all real cheap cards. I mean, they may be worth something to another bear, Bears collector, but, you know, what got me going into this, my collecting style, is just when I switched over. Uh, in the mid-'80s, my grandfather bought me a complete set of 1986 tops after the Bears had won the 85 Super Bowl, and that, that, that kind of got me going, you know, buying factory sets and building sets, and that eventually led to just, you know, going after Bears. And then over here, you know, I got the Erlacher rookie in a one-touch. It's, what, eight ten dollar $10 card, but, you know, I kind of skipped over the 90s. I'll get to them one day, but, you know, truth be told, there wasn't a lot of good-looking cards in the 90s early you know, mid to late 90s, it got better, but tops, uh, plus, man, you know, I, I hate to say it, but the Bears teams, they just kind of sucked in the 90s, man. They weren't that good, so, I, you know, I don't go, I have, I'll get to them one day, but I kind of skipped over my last big run. With, this is everything I got from 2000 to 2015, and some miscellaneous stuff over there, but yeah, I go after a lot of base. I got it, you know, this is my non-Bears PC, my Hall of Fame stuff and i'll have certain things in one touches that you know i don't know what this i know i got this from ricky russo off evolution for probably around 10 bucks i don't know what it would sell for or what quote unquote value is on it but it always being a one touch and you know it means something to me you know a lot of cards are like that but that's it man that's what i got about my um, your little response there i like that good conversation good topic value of cards you know to me the value of my cards are they're worth whatever they're worth to me you know personally i don't like to spend more than twenty dollars on a piece of cardboard with some ink on it but i know to complete some sets and to have certain things some cards are just you know they they sell for more than that so you got to kind of bite the bullet and pay it but for the most part you know i buy a a, a shit ton of base and you know it doesn't have to be a super shiny $500 card for me to put it in a one touch. I just got to have, it's just got to have something, you know, some kind of meaning to me. And I'll throw it in there like this one. This is the one that started it all for the Don Russ classics. This little Dick Buckus I bought 10, 11 years ago. And now it's led to, you know, me basically going after every card from that set that I can. But anyway, there you go, New York Giants, New York Mets. There's my little response. I enjoy your video. I enjoy all your videos, man. Keep keep on making them. Keep on coming up with uh, great topic discussions. You know, because I love I love that kind of stuff and love hearing, love watching all kinds of videos. But the funny thing about it, you know, you were talking about grading, getting all your uh, Brady cards. Uh, graded from their championship years and you know I've had that thought about getting into grading maybe doing certain Bears sets or certain cards but even though I'm not into grading or I don't do it I should say those are some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube I love you know Ray from Philly Elite Coat Nolan those guys uh, anything about the baseball card junkies just did a good one about the PSA set registry and how it affects prices I get a lot of my ideas from videos like that, like my Hall of Fame rookie card PC. It's only that little stack right there, you know, I, you know, decent stack. But I got the idea to finally go after that to do something non-bears from watching uh, a video on the PSA set registry. And then you go there and you look at the different things and it gives you stuff to go after. So that's pretty cool. But all right, going on 10 minutes, guys. Uh, there you have it, man. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a good day.